Welcome to part two of my video review of the Oculus Go virtual reality headset. Right now, you're probably asking yourself, why is the preacher man talking about this device again? Danny talk about this device before in his last video. Yes, I did. I talked about it, definitely. However, after taking a good look at it, I noticed that there were several things that I left out. So that being said, I decided to make another list of the things that I left out, and I am going to share them with you right now. Beginning with YouTube VR. Fantastic. Awesome experience. When you turn it on, you can make the screen small or as large as an iMac screen. I kid you not. It's very, very cool. And another great feature about that app is that when you're laying down, you can redirect the screen from here to there. So while you're laying down, it's like you're looking at the ceiling, but you're actually, you're actually looking at that huge YouTube screen above you. Very nice, very nice. Netflix VR, another fantastic experience. When you turn on the app, immediately you will be sitting down in a living room and when you're looking around you're going to notice that there are lamps around you and in front of you there's this brick wall and there's this huge screen built within the wall and when you turn on a movie the lights will begin to dim like as if you're in a movie theater and man it's very very nice Netflix VR. Another free app that I like is called Outspace VR. It's basically an application that will let you interact with other people. And uh, one of the experiences, one of the first experiences that I had was not a good one. I was in this winter wonderland and I was around these immature, nasty kids with nasty mouths if you know what I mean. So I was about to just completely give up on that app until later on I turn on my, my Oculus Go and then I saw on my menu, uh, Outspace Church VR Live Service Now. And I said, Live Service? So I said, okay, let me check this out. And then when I did, all around me was nothing but Christians. And all of us was listening to this pastor on the stage pre preaching the gospel. And I said, this is very nice. I like this. And if you're a Christian like me, they are available, I believe, every Sunday, uh, Eastern time. That's where I'm at right now. New York City. No, what else? What else? Tomb Raider VR is fantastic. Probably the best virtual reality game that I played on the VR. However, my only big gripe that it is extremely short, 10 minutes long. Basically, it's a demo. That's what it is. It's a demo. It's basically giving you an idea of how it is to be the character from the movie. Because after you complete that short demo, it, it, it will take you straight to the trailer of that Tomb Raider movie, which came out, I believe, a few years ago. But man, when you play that game, you really feel like you're Lara Croft. And you have to stand up when you play that game because you have to interact with the rest of the environment around you. You have the villains from the movie, which are uh, Trinity. They're shooting at you, and the objective is for you to escape the tomb. That's all I got to say. But it is a fantastic 10 minutes. Awesome, awesome. What else? The average prices for video games for the Oculus Go are from $199 to $999. And sometimes they will have a sale here and there. 
So if you're fortunate enough, you might be able to, for example, check out a game, right? On your uh, Oculus Go store menu, and then you can add it to your wish list. And then from time to time, check out that wish list because you never know that game might be on sale, and then boom, you're good to go. So, like I said, between $199 to $999. And what else? Oh, there are some games that you can use an actual video game controller with the Oculus Go. Those from Oculus strongly recommend that you use this controller which is the Xbox One S controller not X S why because this controller has built-in Bluetooth my Xbox One Elite controller which is my personal favorite controller of all time even though it's fantastic it does not have built-in Bluetooth but this one does and when you pair it with your uh, Oculus Go no problem. Very easy to pair. What else? What else? Uh, oh, one thing that I left out from my last video was the actual controller that came with the Oculus Go. And what's cool about it is that over here, this is like a touchpad, and you can actually press down, you know. And over here is your uh, trigger button. So if you're using your Oculus Go, through the headset, you're going to see a beaming light from the controller, and, and, and it will aim towards the menu. And then all you have to do is just point to where you, you know, what you want to activate, and then you hit this button. And then if you want to scroll up and down, you use your thumb to go up, down, left, right, and it's pretty responsive. And this button right here with the arrow, that's your back button. That means wherever you are in VR, all you have to do is hit back and it will bring you back to what you was doing before. And this button underneath, this button was designed when, it was designed for this example. Let's just say you watching something and then suddenly the screen is over here, whatever it is that you're looking at. With this button, all you have to do is hold it down and then what was here will just automatically appear right in front of you, which is pretty cool. Now, what else? What else? Okay. Oh, I did mention that the Oculus Go headset is pretty comfortable. However, if you use it for, uh, for quite some time, it will leave a mark around your face. You know, one time I fell asleep with it. <laughs> and then when I woke up and I got up, my wife, Tamika, was like, oh, wow, look at you. <laughs> look at your face. And then when I looked at the mirror, I said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So expect that to happen. And the Oculus Go headset, I mean Oculus Go. The Oculus Go, <clears throat> which is another thing that I forgot to mention, over here are the ports. Here you have your headphone jack. You see that little circle? That's your headphone jack. And then over here is, a, is your USB port. This is where you will plug in your charger. So yes, you can charge your device and use the Oculus Go at the same time. And another thing that I forgot to mention is the internal speakers, which are behind here and over here. And let me tell you guys, if you are in the mood to use this without your headphones or your earbuds, the sound from the internal speakers are phenomenal. They are great. Yeah, I mean, there's been a couple of times when I said to myself, I don't even need to put on a headset. All I have to do, I mean, a, a, a headset or, or, or the earbuds. All I have to do is just put this on my head and I'm good to go. Now, if my wife is sleeping or whatever, then I will put on my earbuds because I don't want to disturb the peace. So that's about it. I believe that I uh, provided information that I did not include in my last video, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. This is the Preacher Man signing out. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you and your families, and in his glorious name, I say amen.